My name is Glenda De Jesus, and I was in the program last year. And I was working in um, the Mother's Dawn, which is like my place around here. And I was working with um, a researcher that was in the breast cancer lab, and we were testing slides to see if the cancer was caused by different kinds of hormones. Um, but at first, um, I didn't start it, so I did. Um, the presentation about breast cancer and um, the third, about surgery. So this summer I'm working at another thing. I'm working at where I'm trying. I was doing something different. It's just, um, we're working with the brain and how how um, estrogen affects the brain and tissue. So, surgery is a process that treats diseases or injuries by physical and instrumental means. It can reduce the symptoms of a problem or remove a piece of tissue to be further examined. Um, breast cancer surgery removes the tumor from the breast in order to prevent the cancer from spreading to the rest of the body and to determine what treatment the patient must receive. Okay, um, the first step of treating breast cancer is to detect if, if it is found early, then there's a better chance for it to be treated. So one of the things you can do is um, self-examination, which you examine yourself using um, three fingers, and you check for any lumps in the breast. Um, you could also um, check yourself by looking at yourself, which if you have any symptoms like um, skin dimpling or changing your skin texture or um, discharge. Um, if you do find that you have enough, you can come in for a, an exam. And when um, you reach 20 to 30, women should come um, every three years to be checked. You can also receive a mammogram, which um, you women come in and you have to put your um, breast between two plates. And then with a small amount of um, like they're able to tell a small amount of, of x-ray, you can tell if you have um, cancer. You can also have um, a needle biopsy which takes fluid or tissue from the lump in order to make sure that it does have cancer because some lumps are not cancer. Okay, um, if a tumor is found, then you can either get surgery to take out the tumor, or you can get um, chemotherapy, which um, decreases the chance of the cancer reoccurring. And you can also get um, radiation therapy, um, which, and chemotherapy and radiation therapy usually are for patients that have had surgery, and you wanna make sure that the cancer doesn't occur again. Um, but surgery is the one that is most often used because it removes the tumor and any other tissues that might be infected. Okay, um, you could ask a patient, you could choose what kind of surgery you want. You can get a mastectomy, which removes um, the whole breast, or you can get a quadrantectomy, which removes only a quarter of the breast and the tumor, or a uh, lumectomy, which removes um, the tumor without removing any of the um, Okay, so if, you, if depending on the surgery, you have certain circumstances that go with it. If you get a mastectomy, then you could have breast reconstruction or if you have a quadrantectomy or a lumectomy, you can come in for radiation therapy because it's not you're not 100 percent sure that you took out all everything that had cancer. Okay, and after the surgery, this is the part that I was in. We had to um, take the tumor, and the pathologist will look at it and see if what kind of um, what was it caused by. There's different hormones like estrogen or progesterone or there's genes like HER2 that um, cause the cancer to 
grow. And if they find these certain gene hormones, then you can get the medication to um, prevent it or to stop it from growing. Okay, um, my acknowledgments are to Dr. Terry King, Dr. Royer, um, Maria Coleman, Nita Royal, Victor Kuwait, Esther Mungo, um, Memori- Memorial Sloan Terry Cast Center, Dr. Fat, and the Harlem Children's Society of Fat. Thank you. 